Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of one and two step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 3.4K in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 18 of the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Rami made 54 muffins, put the muffins in the boxes with six muffins in each box. So we need the total number of boxes that Rami needed for all the muffins. All right, so we need to find a way to somehow doodle on this problem since it is an online test. So I'm gonna use this graph draw feature. I like expanding it so it takes over the whole uh, screen for the most part. And let's increase the transparency so I can see the problem a little bit more. If we need to, we can change the grid size. It's a bit small, it's a bit large. I kind of like the medium, that's what they start you with. And you can change colors if needed as well. So we're going to use this draw feature. So we can just kind of doodle on this problem. So we've got 54 muffins, all right? So. That's a lot of muffins to draw. Here's what we could do, right? We could just draw little circles. We could say, all right, so here's my muffins and I'm gonna split these up. You know what, there's a nice, let's reset that. There's a nice feature here called add point, okay? So I am going to just add some points here. I can add as many as I want to. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten let's see i think i miscounted there all right so we have two rows of ten three rows of ten four five so let's just fill these out here this is going to get me 50 and then i need four more all right so that's a really easy way to get 54. i'm going to use the draw feature i'm going to put the muffins in two boxes with six muffins in each box. All right, so this is big for us right here. When we see a, a certain number in each box or the same number in each box, or they actually give us the actual number, right? So they tell us it's actually six muffins in each box. Those are equal groups. And whenever we're dealing with equal groups, that's one of the big hints that we're gonna be dealing with either multiplication or division or possibly even both. So we need to put these in boxes of six. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, so at least as far as this goes, right, I can do a box of six. There's two boxes of six. There's three boxes of six. Four boxes of six. Now, unfortunately, there's not a, an erase feature uh, if I hit the reset button up here at the top left, if I hit this button, it's just going to wipe everything out. So I won't reset it. Um, if I could, I would take some of these dots and move them down here so we could just keep doing these rows of six. But I'm just going to do this. So here's my five, and then there's my six. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of make my groups of six this way. And let me see, I'm going to do another group up here. So there's a group of six. There's a group of six. Oh, hey, look, there's a final group of six. You just want to make sure you get six in each. Uh, now let's go ahead and switch our colors and let's just label them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine all right so this is what it's looking like i had 54 muffins i'm going to divide them into groups of six and that's going to give me nine boxes if i wanted to i could do a little strip diagram like this and this is going to be groups of six how many groups of six can i take Either way, my answer is going to be 9, so let's turn this off and let's answer C.